But we now welcome to the program the head coach of the Washington Patriots football team, Terry Ray. Coach, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How about you guys? We're doing well. Doing We're ready right? for uh, football season as uh, Friday night kicks off the season. Coach, how was your off season for your team, and uh, what are some things that you, or I guess, what are some expectations for this upcoming season? We had a real successful off season this year. I uh, brought in a couple coaches to run the weight room and do a bunch of different stuff with our kids. Uh, expectations are high this year. We had a few kids transfer in from other schools. Uh, the work ethic of the boys is really well. We have high expectations here at Washington this year. You mentioned the uh, guys coming in. What are your numbers like? We've heard that the uh, numbers have definitely gone up at Washington. Uh, we have about 71 kids out for football right now, freshmen through uh, seniors, because we don't have freshman football here. So uh, we have a, a pretty good number of JV on our JV team, and we have a large number on the varsity. I guess a quick follow-up would just be what do you, I guess, contribute that to for your staff? Uh, listen, kids are coming out. There's a buzz about sports here. Uh, there's a lot of good things happening. Uh, the expectations started getting set high in the off season. And we have kids coming out wanting to play football. We had a large class come in from Charlestown, Harpers Ferry, and the middle schools here in Jefferson County. I believe uh, two of the transfers that I at least have seen and, and know about are Michael Thompson from Musselman as well as Isaiah Beard, a uh, wide receiver. So um, what are your expectations for those two guys? Obviously some guys with some experience playing in the EPAC and talented players. We hope to get some offense production out of them. <laughs> Do you, uh, will Michael most likely be the starter for you guys? Uh, probably uh, Friday night, Michael will be starting. Uh, Bray's going to be out this week. Uh, uh, he, he's a little bit ill and under the weather, but uh, Michael will be starting for us Friday against Woodruff. With that being said, I guess quickly, what are your uh, early indications of how Woodrow looks this year? Uh, we got film on them on Saturday last week. Uh, Woodrow is a physical football team. They run the uh, double wing, wing teat style offense. Uh, they're very disciplined. Uh, their defense is, uh, they'll slap you in the face and hit you. Uh, they they look pretty good. Uh, they were a team, you can look at them until they had success the last couple of years, and they're a team trying to push in making the playoffs this year, which, you know, everybody makes playoffs this year in 4A, so... Coach, uh, your team kind of got better as the season went on last year and, and really grew. Um, who are some guys that are coming back that you think could have some big seasons for you? Uh, there's a bunch of guys coming back. Javon Jones should have a really big year for us. We're looking for good production out of him. Camden Pritt, offensively and defensively, we're looking at him. Terry Ray III, uh, he, he's going to have – we're expecting him to have – Big numbers for us this year on both sides of the ball. You have Tavon and Allen Casey, uh, Tavon Jones and Allen Casey, both going to share uh, time at running back. We're we're expecting big things from them. Uh, Kyrie Brooks is the big one. He started halfway through the year last year, middle linebacker. He's back and he's pretty much running our defense for us right now. Uh, Philip Shields uh, was a kid that transferred in from Musselman to sophomore. Uh, he's worked his way into a rotation at the cornerback position. Kenyon Brooks, another young man right now. He's got a uh, beat-up knee, so he's not going to be playing this week. So we'll see Phil getting a little bit more action. And our entire offensive line, they don't like me calling them out by names. They want to be called the offensive line. What does the uh, rest of your season look like as you look ahead in, uh, I guess, your total of 10 games? Uh we don't really look ahead. Uh, right now, all we're worried about is Woodrow Wilson. Uh, when I talk to you guys next week, I can tell you about TJ. We're not we're not getting ahead of ourselves this year. I mean, when you look at our schedule, it, it's it's pretty decent looking schedule with the EPACs, and we have a couple teams. Like I said, we know the reclassification bounces around a little bit, but everybody we look at the schedule that we've just taken glances at look pretty solid this year. But of course, we're in the EPACs, so we know what we're getting there. You mentioned it earlier, the reclassification. So all uh, 16 teams in 4A will make the postseason. Um, I guess just what's your thoughts on the reclassification and how that in some ways obviously favors your team. You get an extra game at least, uh, but you're still fighting for the, the standings and, and you want to be one of the higher ranked teams when it comes to 
uh, the end of the regular season? I, uh, I'll plead the fifth on the reclassification. <laughs> uh, listen, you start, you start the football season. Our goal is to get the playoffs. Uh, two weeks before the season, WVSAC decides that they're going to start moving teams around. They move them around. We really can't control that. Once we it, the dust settled and there's 16 teams, in the back of our heads, we know we're going there, but we want to we want to win seven, eight games. We want to host a playoff game. We want to be able to be up in the top tier of the teams in the 4A out of the 16. And with that being said, focus in again on something you can control this Friday night against Woodrow Wilson. What does your team need to do to get the win and start the year 1-0? and uh, We definitely need to uh, control the turnover ratio. Uh, last year we, we lost a lot of games because we turned the ball over a lot. Uh, we need to play really good defense, and our offense needs to score touchdowns. What are some things that you've seen from the team this offseason that maybe you didn't see last offseason that is – really stood out to you? Uh, our senior leadership this year has been a little bit different from last year, but that's expected in the year two. Uh, the kids are tight this year. They're holding each other accountable. There, there's a, a lot of discipline right now in our locker room. Focus in on the EPAC. Uh, what would it mean to your program to get a few wins this year against your EPAC opponents? Well, we didn't win one of them last year, so this year our goal is at least try to win two or three. Uh, we're, it'll be big. We we need to grow up a little bit in the pack and let everybody know that uh, Washington's here. Who have been some of those leaders for you uh, that have shown that senior leadership? Uh, Isaiah. Osafa Mansad, you guys know him as Kojo. Uh, he stepped up big this year. He's been vocal. Uh, Terry Anthony Ray, third, he's been major vocal and leading on both sides of the ball. Uh, Michael Thompson came in here with a whole other attitude when he transferred in. We finally got him in here, and uh, he's very vocal. He, he pushes and leads. Steven Napati, who's our senior center, is he's just taking control of our whole offensive line. Uh, those are the guys that stand out the biggest. All right, Coach Ray, anything else? If not, we'll get to our uh, final question, our fun question for the week. Yep, you guys can ask away. All right, uh, other than football, what is, uh, I guess, the sport that you enjoy the most and why? Wrestling. Uh, I coached wrestling for about 18 years, and uh, I had the privilege of coaching my son and coaching him to a state title. Wrestling's all about you. You can't blame anybody else. It's just you and your opponent on the mat. So it, that's one of the greatest sports I think there is. I mean, I love football, but wrestling's great. All right, Coach, thank you for the time, and good luck this week against Woodrow Wilson. Appreciate it, guys.